President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy, lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? I'm Francois Sanon. But most know me as... Victus. I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here. A sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. <laughs> Captain, please. There are no clean hands in galactic politics. We all do what we must to keep ourselves safe. Which, right now, means finding a way to protect the United Colonies and beyond from additional Terramorph attacks. An effort you and my progeny, Hadrian, have already made impressive progress on. And I'd like to help, though I am curious. Has she shared with you the nature of our... little family? Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been... a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their... recovery teams. Helping them gather intelligence on... locate and organize scenarios to lure in some of the... criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are, but in exchange, I need something dealt with. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Good. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There's a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man.
है कैप्टन डिड योर मीटिंग गो वेल I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Captain, please keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. A holdover from a different era. But it's a situation we've been managing as discreetly and humanely as we can for some time now. And the most critical part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Do I make myself clear? Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question, but bringing him to justice He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Then I'll bid you good day, Captain, and remind you of the importance of discretion. I picked up something you might be interested in. Let's put this bird into space. Retro's firing. Orbit stabilized.
procedure is complete. Captain, greetings. Look who's back. You got something quick? Kinda busy at the moment. Orlais doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Suit yourself. Well, I can tell you there's no one on the den by that name. But... There has been a rumor about a ship floating out around Etheria. Never docks. Doesn't respond to hails. They call it the Warlock. Maybe this Orlais of yours is the one piloting it. I can give you the coordinates to its last sighted location if you want. Just... Well, you'll need to be careful. That part of Etheria Sky is an old debris field. Plenty dangerous. More than a few scrappers heading out never came back. Sure thing. Here. This should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you. I have never quite been able to think of New Atlantis as home. Though I suppose I should.
You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please. Authorized personnel. Your friend has to stay here. Welcome back, Captain. Do you have some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's? Captain, we'll need every tool at our disposal. <laughs> 